Test number two, see if it works. Seems like it's working fine right now. It's the seeker. Protect you, seeker. You protect the better. Killers and machines. You're going to save us here. <laughs> these kids are fucking with these like dying fucking dudes. Fucked up. So. Good. Another power cell. If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Be two more, but. Good, sturdy Nora kit she's got there. Aloy! Whoa, you've returned! Tep? I'm glad to see Tep got fucked up. No injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. Nothing it's a good so thing most of the main characters time. in the Nora families didn't die. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes. I suppose it did. You. It's Resh. Fuck Hello, this guy. Resh. Still guarding the latrine? Ailey, this is not the time. <laughs> Hello, Resh. Everyone's dead outside. You, you still be being a little a bitch? In a of course. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree, but I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Ooh. Tell me about the attack. The Strike said that they took Gret finally, but they were too much. I yes. Aloy, I don't know how you survived out there. Not it's even Aloy. Aloy. You've come you back. The seeker has oh, these are all the kids. I brought Mother Spear come. with us. Speak Everything to all the people I've helped. Behind. Foolish woman. Glad to see you have You it. welcome a oh, curse. Come, seeker. We have much to discuss. I hope the enhancements Her very spirit. presence here is a blasphemy. It was brave of you to come back here, seeker. The battle was lost. Until you came. That's cool that you can talk to everyone you've ever helped, essentially. Hello, Seeker. Aloy, I'm glad to see you again. The Dream Willow you recovered has comforted many who were wounded in the attack. Machines of the Faithless slaughtered our people. The outcast girl. You taught me a lesson of true war. I have remembered what you said many times. That's pretty cool. I love it with fucking games. That they're like, hey, here's all the people you've helped. So, Their lives are not better, though. Finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many I didn't fight ages. anyone. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. 
because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. She is a curse made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse <laughs> me. Aloy. Talk amongst yourselves. Fuck him. for identiscan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Woo! Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Their brains are fucking... <laughs> Possibly be in here though. That's gonna like turn the tide here. I figured it was gonna shut right behind her. I see you inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So, so people have been inside, here. though. Look. This is where I was born. Where you were made. Stranded digging. Hold on. What? What did that say? Item is valuable only to the most cute. A battered idol of an infant smelling faintly. It smells like death? So these are... Artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And they... So this was it. Where you were born. I just picked up something. Why? There we go. Birthing logs, 3021 AP. So it's been about a thousand years. If that's like a fucking 3021 April 4th. Partial reactivation standing by. Viable zygotes in storage. Zero. So nobody else. I was the last person born. So there's there's no more possible births from, from what that just said. <laughs> I believe. This shit is creepy, dude. Seems like there's an angry fucking metal man god creature in here forcing people to stay inside and I'm assuming that's Gaia these look like cribs the cradles of a cradle facility and those things in the multi-servitors they took care of them there was no one else
nutrient stores depleted. Building blocks and shit. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, mother. I know. But it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. So they were taken care of by robots. System failures make your stores look good. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here, and sleep, and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. Mm. That's why they're called Nora Braves. I guarantee fucking see it. This is crazy. Someday... That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Nina, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were trapped here for their whole lives. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Look for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So... What was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eyes. Online learning. The pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. <laughs> Hello, child. My name is Samina. The bitch you ran Today the fucking Apollo. Day, your first day of school. 
There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Offline. You are right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. Oh, this is yeah, they are. Achieved, it would not be denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. It's pissed. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise Heard some and possibility. steps that were not good. Sounds good. Okay, so this is just fucking school. Hollow. Nice. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Inhabitants released. So are we going forward? Yeah. Cross check complete sealed data uh, archived. Operation suspended. G prime order received. Runtime recommended. So. All right. So 2030, 2326. 3020. Prime order received. Runtime recommended. Gestation. Nutrients depleted. Psycho banks depleted. Store vial. Bible waking multi servitor B one twenty three. Power malfunction. B one twenty three. This is all roughly the same time. Chamber repaired. Capacitor station initiated. E nine power save initiated. Runtime recommended. Prime still offline. Viable. So that's that's probably me. Waking multi servitor. Baby delivered. So that's me. Yeah. So. Patch unsealed. Patch sealed. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. 
This admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis. The fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material oh, in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re enter this facility. Obtain one Holy of the shit. focus devices stored below and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities and over time harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. I'm with Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. But it, oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Holy shit. So, the actual... Actual, like, moment Hades and shit happened. You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two. A dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. That's pretty the jarring, to be fair. Machine. Born in destruction and fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. That is pretty jarring, but I'm kind of with silence on this. Identity malfunction rectified. The will be alive. Group one access unsealed. What do you even say? You know, like, Aloy is highly intelligent and she was literally bred to be highly fucking intelligent. So what could you possibly fucking say? Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? She did. What did she say? Uh, 
I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal being. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Uh, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? No, fuck you. She kills herself. I wish. That's fucking. She may be born. That is yes. like genuinely staggering. I will do it. Like. That is a lot of fucking like calculations and shit. Aloy, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this? Oof. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. <laughs> it's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Tirso is the only one who's ever nice to Aloy. Just the only reason she had a fucking chance. That's crazy. Oh my god. I'm fucking pumped, dude. Just go for this. I just don't see a point in fucking repairing shit. Yeah, I think fighting back is probably the next one. Lower health, stronger hits. Damn, you really are just kind of destined to just never fucking get that super armor until the end of the game. Luthia 9. So Luthia 9 is where people are born. Where they were born, anyway. I'm gonna go here and go to, go to see if Aloy has anything to talk to uh, Rost about. That was crazy. Like, I knew it, it, it makes sense the whole fucking, like, she's born in the mountain and shit, but, like, Gaia was like, ah, oh, shit. Good luck. <laughs> I made all these calculations. You're going to suffer for 20 years before, uh, before you're able to, uh, start to even understand why you are the way that you are. Very, very lucky that she ended up with fucking Rost. But, I mean, I guess it's all, like, the way destiny works and shit, because it is Elizabeth Sobeck's fucking brain, essentially. So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. Hi, Rost. I'll, uh, I'll just take this off. Don't want him listening in. I can't believe it's taken me so long to visit you. When you said goodbye, when I told you I'd find you, track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. You went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. So I... I went inside the mountain. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose... bigger than myself. Well, it... <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. The same purpose that drove Elizabeth and Gaia when they were willing to die for. So yeah, I'll do it. 
gave myself to that Queen Elizabeth, Gaia, and for you. What could the second game possibly be about? Got a master override to recover, so I, I guess I'll be on my way. I kind of feel bad because I realize I've never visited Ross' grave. I'm wondering if she would have said anything else. It's got to be cold, right from the snow back to your ear. Talk to me. I should be going. Oh my god, this game is fucking crazy. So, plan is to go to Gaia Prime, which is where like the reactor was, where she basically exploded it. And I guess because she did that, Hades couldn't fuck everything up. But then the Karja found Hades and resurrect <laughs> resurrected him. And Silence and Aloy, when they override a machine, are guying it because that's the blue light, obviously. The mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. I gotta do this shit again. Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? There a stormbird and a bunch of shit up here. I might regret this. Where? Where do I get the foothold at? Where do I climb? I don't remember. There we are. I'm pretty sure there's some big shit up here too now. I swear I fought a stormbird up here. This part's a little, like, not as cool as it could have been, because I've already been all the way up here. I knew it. I remember, I think, Kate, I think we talked about this when I last saw so I was like, this is the end of the game shit, I'm not going to see this for a long time. Now, like, 12 hours later into the fucking playthrough. You know, I kind of, this is going to sound dumb, because 
I, I guess I really uh, get appealed by, like, really formulated games. This game, if it's virtually the same, obviously, like, different weapons and game, uh, animations. But if this game is virtually the same, except for the fucking... Oh, I the fuck up there. Um, this game's virtually the same in the second game. Besides, you know, they have a gliding mechanic now. Or they will. Um, companions or something like that it would be fucking pretty baller. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I drilled, Is he an Osirum? He's gotta be. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. To be fair, this is like the safest ago, place he could be. A great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in the riddle as they tried to read this omen. <laughs> the crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage... The machines will do it. could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. And because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't Fuck you, you dude. Door. This guy is fucking... You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. So firewood. Tons of equipment. Actual tech that he's been tinkering with. I assume that that's his laser that he's using to try to burn it. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population. One sec. You sound like someone smash on a horn outside. Arrivals, Shan Margo. 
What? Is that it? Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they Travis is the fucking Hades She's still guy. Firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for like three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You what, 30? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah. Mm -hmm. Find your footing. Oh. I was not paying attention. I'm about to go beat the fuck of whoever is outside spamming them. Hold on. Just fucking yelled at someone because they like I mean seriously they're just like da -da 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 -da, with their fucking car horn so on the day I was born Gaia Prime fucking exploded the fuck out of this shit It's so, I wonder, like, I know the focus shit, but I really wonder what that shit is. <laughs> she just, that's, guess that's my way across, about immediately fucking dies. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? <laughs> well. Don't, don't answer. Glad that's over. <laughs> Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Alright, I gotta explore every fucking corner. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Record. 
I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... God damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button. Record. 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 I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... Shaman mystic, I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. <coughs> I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime, no different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, and dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific, and none of them matter. It sounds like Mark, in that message, it just basically sounds like that she's alone here. That even fucking What's-His-Face is dead. Um, Travis. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? We scanned them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. It seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to heal them. SSDs. Cursor scan. Serious. shit. this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. 
Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who I signed up for? Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. So she's out there. She's dead, definitely, but like. tribute holy shit why can silence just do that Aloy? She's gone. I mean to be fair Aloy that well, was I knew she couldn't have survived Aloy and her achievements were beyond exceptional while her people bickered she was the one who took responsibility the only one who could she was better than them that's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. We did. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Hmm. What the fuck does that mean, Aloy? You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children after all Apollo has taught them they'll think they know everything but they have to understand what you did for them how you love the whole world so much with an intensity that was dazzling bruising and in the end it killed you or you died for it different perspectives no one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg, 
I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. I miss you. <laughs> Look, Liz. You're a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry he dies. Oops. If you had a home to go to... I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you, you are at fault. Ted Farrell. Hell, Liz. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. to play the savior in the water all at once this time. Great work. Did it say gene locked? Yeah. That's what I figured. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um... Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. He seems to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? Did you ever hear how she talked about him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Auntie Mod Cuckoos. What? What can he do? So, as soon as, like... Uh, Elizabeth, like, died. He's just fucking hitting on this girl. Is that what he's saying? Or he's just harassing her? All right. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I speak outside protocol? That's not good. So. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science. One sec, guys. Sorry. Having a low, so I gotta go. Oh, you fucker. Alright. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I speak outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? <laughs> well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I... No. It is... Natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator. 
the patron saint of this crazy endeavor. Our Lady of the Fervent Hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, girl. Take a note. Another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. I better not fight any fucking people. Like, machines are one thing, I get it, but fighting people would piss me off. Ted Farrow? No. I know, I know. That dead body. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, please stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is uh, why I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift. It's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. It doesn't 
doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes... This is actually pissing me off. Innocents have to die. Emergency. That actually pissed me off. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved. All the knowledge of the old ones. Evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. The master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. You shoot him with the arrow, or do I get up to Hades and override him? Silence is evil, dude. I'm fucking... I'm absolutely calling it right now. That motherfucker is fucking evil. And I want it on record. I've been saying this shit since the beginning. Since I saw this dude, he's got fucking literal fucking, like... He's got, like, machine shit running through him. Is that good? I... <laughs> no... What if that's the canonically the way she fucking fights? <laughs> she misses the handheld, like the fucking thing, and then she just fucking flops on the ground. Try not to fall to your death. <laughs> Master override doesn't override gravity. Where am I going, by the way? right there. Whatever. Telling you, silence is evil as fuck. That's gonna be the big twist. He's gonna be fucking Hades or some dumb shit, or he's gonna get corrupted. Even here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. 
I found the Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shed of Tucker. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered it. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception and viewing, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my I love you. Voice. This guy's I'm telling you, he's fucking evil. Of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the spire? Its precise location. Yay. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land? I'm sorry, no, babe. Hades revealed to me many yeah, real the intricacies tired, of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. <laughs> math! You have no I was learning idea. math, Aloy. You know what you can do with math? And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yeah. Yes, yes, he is. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse... I've already had two bottles of water. I am very full, babe. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and banished tribes. What were a few more? That's supposed to, was that supposed to be silence? I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. A thrilling technical challenge. 
especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? Certainly okay, I love you too, baby. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Norger? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence, pure recklessness. Aelord, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. Mm -hmm. I was merely trespassing. Ground, Karcha in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I. I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Clint Hawk that perched upon the alight? It speaks scripture. 
Saruman, father of the shadow, cast from the spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful, but you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active. I have to tell Rod that your are still ready to strike. Check it yourself if you must. I know how to the city. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Fearless. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. Finish the fucking game today, go back to cleaning the fucking house, chill, figure out what I need in new decks. I think I'm doing Mass Effect next. Which, that's exciting. Long fucking load times, dude.
Come on, you're almost there. Finish loading. I realize that I'm not almost done because I still have the frozen wilds. Which, hopefully, that shit's short. Oh, shit. Just raft inspection of an, uh, Gaia Prime site construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control remind me of starship bridges on the cheesy old SF vids. Um, living spaces for Alpha is already completed. Prefab modules. Fingers crossed we never have to see ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Spent last week at the Bryce site designing Zero Dawn Project Labs, drawing up protocols. The base for repurposing was huge. Plenty of room for workspaces and re resident blocks. The work crew's already set up my office slash lab. I'm not a fan of the glass wall. Yes, Murray's intention was to ensconce me as an all-seeing presence. Uh, opposite effect makes me feel watched on display. Tempted to paint it over. Uh, paint over it. Harris recorded his presentation yesterday suitably bleak. Like, is that Commander or General Harris? I think so. Soon as reception, lounge, hollow theaters, and first residence block of zero-down site are finished, we'll start processing the cans being held outside of Tucson 27 already. Extraction teams, preparatories, and pack Pacific Rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be snatched off the street, carted across the world, held in cells. Here's hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours of sleep and then fly back to ZD site. Harris promised delivery of QB lattices by noon. Um, expect Mark 1. We'll take it for two weeks to machine assemble and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 0.6 T grounding. From there, I'll spin her past 1.0. Wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.38 T record. Uh. So this guy is going to the left, fire is going to the up. No, 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 sharp shot's fine. Good faster than stealth. Oh, some shit's about to happen right here. I can fucking feel it. They're already attacking. Ah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Gandolin. Hey, Lord. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. The Eclipse will attack soon, from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. 
all will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target, Avad. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, Your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight for the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Thank God. Have you spoken to... Not yet. He wishes to speak. Blameless Mirad. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. You will never be ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came from Meridian, others the shards. But many came for you by name. For me. You're the Norris, you Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle <laughs> cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more <sighs> you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Because that's very obviously how to start everything. Fucking fast travel around, talk to everybody. <laughs> I'm so tired. Holy shit. It's hitting me real bad right now. Last time I visited... Last time visited Prime was November of last year. Months since have been a blur. Flew out last night to oversee installation of the central armature in the Master Override. You're welcome, Ted. Which was completed by 04030. So I decided to grab a few hours of sleep uh, here before heading down to Zero Dawn. Called Gaia before I bed it down ostensibly to update her on the site plan. But the truth is, I missed her. I've developed a habit of speaking to her before I sleep. Seems to be the only thing that calms me down these days. Woke to a message from Oswald. The Odyssey launched yesterday. So Terrestrial's life's chance of survival is doubled. Why then do I feel so uneasy? I just keep wondering what kind of world Far Zenith will create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now, and I wonder what about the Alpha build of Apollo? So much knowledge, so few restraints, and no fail saves. How will they avoid repeating our mistakes? What's to stop them from playing God? Forward to Odyssey's message to the Alphas. 
uh, Noato, Noito, replied in less than a minute with a poem. Of course, the building of the ship by Longfellow, and it's long, all right. I didn't read all of it, but it seems to be about launching a ship rather than building one that stands up or couplet or whatever it left out of me. Humanity, with all its fears, with all its hopes for future years, is hanging reckless on my fate. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should go back to Zero Dawn. Guess I should stop by uh, his lab and check on Demeter's progress, too. If I can get out of there without the volume of Tennyson pressed into my hands, I'll count myself lucky. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. <sighs> that happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. that armor was it of course uh, isn't that a little what nothing out with it woman <laughs> forget i said anything you look very dignified thanks aloy you did tub honestly if i fought i'd probably come undone but don't worry i brought supplies instead i brought supplies the card to me the quartermaster you... we'll be setting up caches of arm aloy when you went into she didn't need to maybe we can little huntress fight i thought you just wanted tea well that can't be true no so i am i don't think i know you. Hmm. can i tell you a of course i've been waiting the enemy we face today sorry is the i'm, I'm skipping through it's just like a slate pit i'm tired the game's basically bath. over fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my... I, I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I... I'm with you, Vinod. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Benjamin is alive and well in Meridian. The card is... Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph. I'm hoping you won't need any. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was I trying to kill myself. To, death, to watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. Do you want me to? No. Well then. <laughs> Here's to that. Holy shit.
Um, drives came by trick or treating, dressed like me. Should have seen that coming. Gave him a half eaten packet of dandy wafers as a treat and kicked him out, but not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza. He would organize for ZD staff. Seriously, as though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already scheduled to fly out here to G Prime for final inspections with Harry's and President's delegation. Ted was here too, and he was not looking good. Kept fidgeting, couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. I was relieved when he boarded his fur and flew back to Thieves. Gag. Though I guess I shouldn't complain. If he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter to ride out the apocalypse, let him keep him out of Elysium and away from me. Harris stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. Basically, we've entered the terminal phase. As though the color of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clear enough. Another two or three weeks and the atmosphere isn't going to be breathable. The last vestiges of the European and West Africa Civ brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarms have scuttled across Antarctica... Uh, is crossing the Straits of Magellan and about to start its death crawl up South America towards the Amazon. All the work we did to reconstitute the rainforest when it comes to this. And advanced elements of the Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on Kalmar or Seawall. The noose is tightening. Projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin of error is give or take 10 days. Not a good spread. If the plague breaks through the ahead of schedule, well, it just can't. I cannot let that happen. You're the hunter from the... I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, uh, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many <coughs> machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army. Yes, that's why I came. Good. She's got a really cool ass helmet. Oh, wait. Talana. Oh shit, Why are you here? from the lodge. I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. 
I will fight by your side. My only request. Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor, look like Turk. War Chief Sona. <laughs> the Nora War is Chief, here. You, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Someone's a sour post right now. Who's that? Greetings, Aloy. Sparrow. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't much like being called anointed either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? Do you really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? <laughs> Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed did it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says or because you say I think the goddess and I are in agreement <laughs> we're both glad you're here so am I the last person I talked to it's gonna be Aaron Aaron is Vanguard so who are these guys they call themselves the Eclipse what does that even mean it's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. There used to be cards, and cards are all... Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's going to be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us... It's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! They look like yeah, a bunch right. of dads. You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. Like a bunch of we're dads doing Marine. LARP for their kids. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Marissa would be proud. Well, only if we win.
Ganze. Such a close thing. It's been, what, 43 hours since hers warned me. Such a collapse of the eastern line was imminent. Storms launching some kind of pincer maneuver versus the Wichita salient. Five or six days more, I think Guy could have launched without her help. I really do. We had to scramble. ZD became a madhouse. Absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lock it down as Gamma's got evacuated. Then Betas. Once Gaia was on her way, I gathered the Alphas together to give them the bad news. Felt like I was going to throw up. They already knew, of course. They knew the work wasn't going to be finished. Close, but not quite there. Still test run. Kinks to smooth work to do. So they accepted it. No leasing for us. We'll spend the rest of our lives here testing and polishing. Each subordinate function to perfection. Guess that's when you get... I guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsessive perfection. Just managed to not cry until I got back to my office. Here we are, setting up Gaia Prime, and yeah, such a close thing. It makes me feel nauseated all over again. When I contemplate how the fate of life could hinge on coincidence that if I never proposed the Lightkeeper Protocol, there never would have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support systems would never have been installed. If, 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 at least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones of ourselves. The genetic material was never processed out of the cradle site so it's not even possible for which i am glad i really really wouldn't want to spend all my time around a brunt young travis tate raised by travis tate no it'll end up being us to, it'll end it'll be up to us to perfect gaia one generation only update that was general hearns the salient has collapsed usrc expects us to be overrun in two days which gives us 72 hours uh, at best to lock down seal buried alive for life's sake i'll go tell the others Time to go to sleep. Where are they coming from? The West? Roland's apartment feels empty. Should I just sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Not really, besides into the frozen wilds. Hopefully this doesn't end the game. That would kind of piss me off. Her hair. How could you save Elizabeth with a weight like this pressing on me? How did you lost after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. <laughs> Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. And what is it? Dust. The end. Or how it begins, anyway.
Bringers you spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! Get loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! Will the guns hold them back? <laughs> he fucked me, dude. So he's very weak against uh ranged apparently. You cannot hide. Shit, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I had no commentary on it. This was not meant to be. Stab him in the chest. I'm the chosen one. Chosen. 
Hades only chose you because you're a fool. A sadistic butcher too stupid to see you were being used. Your whole life was a failure. And soon, no one will even remember you. God damn. Turn your face to the sun and think about that. <laughs> Holy shit. That was probably the best option. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Turn your face to the sun and think about that. What's he got? Corruption resist, melee resist, ooh. Crazy.
crazy. killed me. Oh my god, how far back am I gonna have to go? I'm sorry, I'm getting fucking stressed, so I'm starting to sweat a lot. A wall in the attack! Lower your arms, but be wary! Chance to catch a breath, and prepare.
Sorry, I want to talk more, but I cannot focus. Oh my god, that was like ridiculously difficult. <laughs> Silence. Silence to the rescue here, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. It's Hades. Aloy, you fucking had it, dog. Aloy. 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 By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no, wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I gotta go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I was like, that, mother that bitch just fucking died in front of me because I didn't kill him. Oh, she is dead. Oh my god. It's begun. Hades is transmitting. The little kid that I helped is gonna get fucked up, aren't they? Guys, like you get it, you see this shit. Oh my god, it's 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 like it's eating shit for fuel right now. Ugh. 
That's pretty crazy how they did that. I wonder if it was like a gas or nanobots or some shit. If Hades has started the signal, they must have gotten through the defenses. I'm on. They're in Vanguard. I have to get up there. Hello? Definitely not working as intended right there. Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. I knew this wouldn't be easy. So no holding back. Do I have any sick fire things to add to this? 40%. So a little bit of an increase, you know. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. <laughs> we thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. I should stock up. Last chance. I'm just kidding. I have 2,000 wood. Final boss fight. Oh my god. Arrival of entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. To contrary, calculations are precise. Presence of entity has been accounted for.
fucking machine gun here. Did it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gaia or Elizabeth? It's Elizabeth. Okay, so none of those guys ended up getting activated because they still had to wait for their, like, diesel cold starts. But now all of these fucking tribes have, like, these fucking super massive, like, super expensive parts. Oh, she about fucking. <laughs> Dude, she about fucking quick scoped him. He was like, yo, yo, yo. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire, and uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, 
to Elizabeth so bad. Oh God. Nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. And willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. It's a little globe. That's oh, a locket. Or is it a globe? Pretty sure it's a locket. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. It's pretty cool. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Easily in my top ten as a game. Easily in my top ten. Very, very good game. Right, I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm still just like taking it in like this game was crazy 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 game. I love Aloy as a character The dialogue could definitely drone on a little too long, but it was like You got to be in the right mood. You know what I mean to be able to just eat all of the dialogue um, But you know, I think it was a very very good fucking game What?
What? Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you What? Think? So I was right? Well, let's begin. What? So was he evil? That was a very evil thing to do. That was a very evil thing to do. What an evil way to react. He had a cage just ready to quote unquote save him. What? All right, please just give me all the loading screen so I can turn off the stream. What's that? Ended the war machine thread? Yeah, for like 20 minutes, and then Silence is doing some sketchy shit, so. Like, it, that was inherently evil. Defeating Hades and protecting Gaia's dream of an Earth reborn, the state of the world has been restored to just before the Looming Shadow, prior to the final battle of the Meridian. You keep all the loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Additionally, your game plus has been unlocked, granting the option to play through the game again from the beginning with all the loot and skills you've accumula accumulated, accumulated through this playthrough. New game plus load out of your current inventory and skills has been created to play the mode. Simply choose new game plus and the options. Thank you, Horizon. Alright, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I will figure out what to play next.